Okay, perfect. Oh, there's Carrie. Hey, Carrie. Hi. Can you hear us okay? Yes, I can. Oh, can you hear me? Yep. Perfect. Good. Okay. Sometimes my video doesn't work too good. So if my video turns off, I'm still here. Sure. Okay. Perfect. I'll put you guys up in the corner. Okay, so we'll get started with uh, our third lesson. So just kind of talking about what um, what everybody's done and how to connect your branding and your personal. And we were just talking like to more and she was wondering about her music page and where she should put it. So that's kind of stuff you can go through and, and we can do, hi Melody, we can do some of it here today and then each, if you want to um, keep a list of what you want to um, either go through um, afterwards on the page or what you want to do on your one-on-one -on -one session. So um, yeah, and we'll look at a little chat box and if we have time, I have some LinkedIn for you guys too, if anybody's interested in that. But if you're more that we stick to um, uh, uh, Facebook and, and uh, Instagram and then we can, I can add the LinkedIn later and I can just post it on the page and do a, another video for you guys to watch after this if we don't have time. Um, can you guys see the, the, the screen? Yeah. Okay, perfect. And now let me just, okay, perfect. So we'll just go to the next screen. Okay. Um, so what has everybody done in the last week? Uh, anybody have some, Carrie, you did a Facebook live. Did you link anything that try everything different from last week that, oh, you're muted, Carrie. Uh, so I tried to interact a little more and um, I'm doing another one right after this session today. So I'm going to try even a little more interaction, you know, get some, a bit of question and answer going. And I have really enjoyed um, your suggestion about when I'm on social media to try and, and make connections like really meaningful connections rather than just scrolling randomly. Mm -hmm. And that has been really powerful, actually. I found there's so much more that I'm getting out of it and also that I'm receiving back, you know, like comments or um, messages and so on that it's really helping. Um, it help, it's helping my time online and it's also helping me feel like I'm actually connecting more, which is exactly what social media is supposed to do. So that's been awesome. So when you posted your Facebook Live and you had some comments, did you go back and comment to those people? Is that, yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that yeah. like, we were talking, Trudy did a Facebook Live right after we left the session last time. I felt all of us saw it. And uh, she said she had some, like we were saying, in any engagement there, like if you have somebody say, hey, that looks great. And especially if you don't know the person or you're vaguely to say, hey, yeah, do you, you check me out? I'm going to be speaking at XYZ. And they might go, what's that? Right. So, yeah. Yeah. And Melody's, uh, we're going to talk about her grief series coming up next week, probably. Melody, have you done anything? Lana, we already talked a little bit. I'm just going to close my door. No, I haven't done anything yet. Okay. <laughs> Soon to be. Okay, perfect. Um, but I think, like I said, some of the easy pieces, like doing that motivational Monday tech or something wellness, like if you have to just use those to start, because at least it's getting you to do something, right? It's better than doing nothing. Okay, uh, so we're going to talk about what to do, when to post, how often, how to keep track of it. So you guys, I did post the content calendar and I have the one for June and July. These are, um, it'll just, they are just PDFs and you can print them off and fill them in. I, I just print them off. This is an American company that does it. But some of the days that are, are the one coming up were really good. The one in June has um, had environmental day, had some of the days I'm like, oh, that's a good post for this client or that client or whatever. But it just gives you that calendar to, to fill in for your month. So I will add the June. I have June and July templates that you guys can print off and use. I find those helpful. Okay, so a few questions when you're getting ready to post. Um, you know, is it is it shareable? Is it nice and short and sweet? They're really saying that really staying under those 140 characters now with the algorithm. So posting really long, in-depth posts is not not friendly to Facebook. And maybe do three or four short ones. And if you have to do a longer one, either use the bit.ly or take them to your website or to an article or some, or even a, a PDF is better than having all that text in a, in a post. Okay. So try and keep your posts a little shorter. They, it's really come back in the last little while. They're really looking at 
the 100 to 200 character under that in a post. And that, that is a lot in, 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 a, in a post too. So watch that. Uh, have you got a call to action? Have you got some conversation? And is it relevant to your page? So I'll give you some ideas. Um, asking questions is really, really good. Um, so, I mean, Melody, like something if we're gonna run forward with some sort of a, a grief, let's just, I'm just gonna use you as an example because we're talking about grief, mm -hmm. that's okay. So, I mean, really some of the questions would be simply have you experienced grief recently? Um, uh, you know, has you have you had something happen? I don't know what we could come up with those three questions, but really come into that. Um, is it in the is it currently is it from the past something you can't go over and you can ask a few questions in there with it with a nice little easy ask. I mean, when you have like a gym one or something, it's like, you know, have you ever hired a trainer? Do you do you work out at home or do you work out online? Those kind of questions too. Carrie, um, what's your what's your topic on later today, Carrie? I missed what you're, I'll unmute. Uh, it's on um, why it's awkward to receive appreciation or compliments and, and what that means. Yeah, so, you know, what question, what, what did you say the last time somebody complimented you? Everybody, we always say, oh, no, that's okay, that, right? And we should take that compliment, right? Or, yeah, that kind, you could do a simple, but ask that question. What, how did you react to the last compliment you got? Something like that, it's asking a question, right? Um, so those, those types of things. Um, like working with a, a, a restaurant, it's like, what are your plans for date night? Like, are you, do you go out Friday or Saturday nights? And you can ask, like, simple, but though, again, you're, you're getting those questions and then those comments or those, um, those likes or whatever that then you can interact with, like, what Carrie was saying, right? Um, same thing, fill in the blank. Do you go out Friday or Saturday night? Photo captions, really, really great, too. You can post something and ask somebody to, uh, to like, there was a great picture of something and say, what, how would you caption this? Those are kind of fun. Um, and then doing the live questions when you're in a Facebook live, when you have that audience to ask, when you've really set it up. So you have those questions. Oh, hang on a second. Got stuck here. So, um, there's lots of things you can ask, but again, yes and no's. Um, you can do multiple choice. You can do polls. The really fun stuff to do a poll. Um, you can, if you've seen it right in Facebook, you can do a poll. So, um, what could you do a poll? Um, hmm, I'm just trying to think. A lot of people, oh, times. Like, when's the best time for you to, if I was to, just an example, if we were to do a, a session, say, say Melody's like, I'm running a session on grief, what's a better time to reach your audience? Mornings, afternoons, or evenings, and you could get a good poll if you've got a good group of people and get an idea of what's best for them. Um, so the polls are, are really good to use in there too, if you haven't seen how those ones, but there's, so I mean, something kind of, you know, every time you post a funny little picture, or something fun, people, the responses for fun stuff, I mean, it's great. You can do lots of great, great things, and, and again, you can find a lot of stuff on on that you can you can rob and duplicate on there too, right? So, so keep it live. And then what's what's timely? Um, you know, what's going on with what you're doing? Um, again, so Lana, like I mean, Lana's working with um, she's doing an esthetician. So again, have you got your summer toes? Like you know that kind of thing. Are you getting? any waxing for the holiday like I'm not sure what she exactly does but that kind of stuff too um more too like if you've got something coming up that is you're speaking at it like a couple of girls I know were singing at the Black Diamond Festival so you want hey we're going to be at that what festivals are you going to this summer I might be at one of them right so anything that's relevant to the timing to what you're doing too okay so we had a few Facebook lives um anybody else got any has decided if they're going to do any facebook lives coming up uh carrie's got one melody are you planning maybe to do any planning maybe to do one someday okay <laughs> <laughs> what's the uh, hesitation <laughs> well um just doing it and part of it is timing right now yeah i'm I feel like I'm trying to do too many things and not doing any of them well. So um, I was looking forward to having a session with you to talk about like, what would I talk about? And then yeah. I also, I want to practice before I put myself out there for real. Yeah. For realsy. Like, 
Yeah, so. like I said, you guys put it, if you want to just practice in the group page, you can do that. And it's a great paid place to, to do that. If you're like, hey, just say, hey, I'm gonna post this. You don't have to do it live. You can just, well, you can go in there and do it live to practice live. And if you want to, if you want to practice bringing somebody in or any of those things, that's a perfect place to, to practice because we can all give you feedback too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you don't, don't have to be scared in there. So it's a good place to practice. Carrie, she's just going and going for it because you've done quite a few now, Carrie, haven't you? Just got brave and did them. <laughs> it just, it's not as bad as I thought. So, and I'm starting to enjoy like, Oh, I wonder who will join me and I wonder what they will say. And, um, and I've, I've kind of given myself the challenge. I'm doing one every week. Perfect. So, I, I mean, I can do anything once a week, you know? <laughs> so. yeah. And they don't have to be long. You guys, they can be 30 seconds to a minute. They don't have to be like this big educational thing. They can be like, Hey, you know, uh, you know, uh, walking and you know, whatever, you know, Passing a graveyard, Melody. Like really, like how beautiful. There's that. Somebody was up at the new, the old graveyard by Shaw, the Shaw Cable on on uh, Cemetery Hill there, and they're doing a bunch of work. And the girl was like, "Oh my God, it was just beautiful at sunset." You know, so it's like I'm going to be doing that series on grief. Like I don't know, but just some ideas there too. Does and again, remember you guys that you don't have to be on their live. Okay, so one of the other girls is um, uh, has a, a, a dress line, and she's like, I don't want to be all made up every time. And I'm like, well, just lay the outfits, hang the outfits, and say, here's a beautiful outfit for a Saturday wedding. Here's a really uh, relaxed outfit for a Sunday. And just then have your phone and go show it that way, too. So a good way to, could, for Melody, you could easily just lay out, do you have some great uh, books on grief? Like really good idea would be to just lay a few books out. I'm just coming up with a couple ideas for you. Lay a few books out on a table and just have your camera, you know, have your camera again and just interviewing the books. Do you know what I mean? And you don't have to be on them and just say, Hey, lay them out and say, here's uh, two or three books I recommend. I'm sorry. I'm just going on about grief because that's what we talked about with you. I would recommend these three books and just, you know, have your hands. This book I've read many, many times. Uh, this one you could get at chapters. This one is for current life, whatever, you know, um, family, a spouse, grief, or some different types, whatever you have. And just say, here's just some examples. And, uh, you know, if you need to go, they're all at chapters or you can message me. I can tell you where to get them. That's the library. I'm a librarian. I have to throw that in. Oh, at the library too. Sorry. Or yeah, at the library. <laughs> so that's how simple it could be, Melody. Like I'm just trying, I'm just trying to think of cool things for you to do that without, you can get you could get really comfortable with doing Facebook lives without really being in it, mm -hmm. right? Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. same. I mean, Maura's a, a musician and she's a singer, so I mean, for her to get up and do next time she's at something, uh, really easy for when we have performers. They're like, oh man, they're really easy. So questions on on Facebook Live, you guys, and Facebook. When to post? Okay, did you did, did did any of you schedule your post? Did you figure out how to do that? Anybody? Do you want? Yeah, Carrie, you got yeah. So you can lay, you can go in. On the, oh, Carrie. On my yeah, on the business page, I, I figured out you just write the post, and then on the bottom there's that little clock, and you yeah. can schedule when you want it to go. Yeah. And I like that too. Because sometimes, like in. a lot of people check their um, Facebook um, at certain times of the day uh -huh. and so you can actually schedule your post to show up in their feed at yep. the time when most people tend to be on so yeah. that's kind of cool so I'll just share it share this is I'll show you guys how to do it it's really easy uh, hopefully I can get in here <clears throat> okay I'll escape for this one sorry <laughs> Because it is a, it's a really good feature, isn't it, Carrie? Yeah, okay, so here is, here is uh, the, here, so I go into here. Can you guys see the Facebook page? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I go right post. I can go right into here. And if you scroll down, do you see this little clock here, you guys? Oh, actually. We're just seeing the PowerPoint. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Let me just, I got to reshare. Sometimes it, it, it doesn't catch up. Sorry, guys. Okay, can you see the Facebook there now? Yeah. Okay. So I go to write a post in here, and you see this at the very bottom, see this little clock? Mm -hmm. 
hit schedule. And you can go in there. If I wanted to schedule this for the 29th of June at, you know, 6 p.m., I could schedule it for that. So you could literally go in there and, and do your, if you, if you decided you only want to do motivation for Monday, for every Monday for the next two months, you could go in and do all of those and look at them. And then if you're like, oh man, we're like, you can also go in and look at um, where your posts are. I just have to go and you can manage your posts and look at, pardon me, look at where they all are too. And uh, you can see your, um, I just have to go into a business page to show you that. You can see um, if you're like, oh, how many do I have scheduled for what day and what time? Is it coming up? You can go into the top part here, you guys, where it says, is it showing the DAR business page, you guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. When you So now you're in your business page, so you posted a bunch of stuff and you're like, oh my gosh, did I post all of those for Monday? Go into this top part, there's publishing tools. And when you go into here, it's got all your published posts, schedules, posts, and you can draft stuff. And then you can look at all your posts that you've done and the dates and how many people and the reach. Okay. Questions on that? That's a scheduling is, is really, really good. So many people didn't realize you could schedule. It makes a big difference, doesn't it, Carrie? Yeah. Okay. Questions on that, you guys? Trudy, questions? You're looking at, go ahead, I can't use your muted, Trudy. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is Trudy and uh, Maura. So the Bitly planner is just for Facebook, is that right? Or can you put all of your social media in there? Oh, like Instagram and so on and so forth. Because I've got Planoly as another option and I wrote it here that that was for Instagram. So I've got, I'm, I'm confused. Okay, so Bitly is a shortener. So Bitly, when you go in and have a long uh, URL, you go into Bitly and you oh. shorten it. So that's what Bitly does. It's a shortener. Okay. okay, so that's what Bitly does. So if you want to go in and do a short form of a URL, you Bitly it, okay? Yep. Okay. Planoly can do, you can plan out all your Instagram posts, exactly. Um, in Facebook, I would schedule your posts within Facebook, like in like I just showed you. You can use something called Hootsuite and Buffer, but I'll tell you, yeah, have you used Hootsuite, Maura? I'm looking at those right now. Okay, so a lot of people don't like when they see stuff posted by Hootsuite and Buffer because they're like you. It's just, it's up to you. Hootsuite, they have a, and I wouldn't pay for Hootsuite, just use the low version for free. Um, then, or Buffer is even better for a small business than Hootsuite. It's cheaper, it's better, um, it's way more user friendly than, than, than Hootsuite, okay? So you can go in and schedule Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, all those different, but if you just want to kind of work on Instagram, Planoly is the best for Instagram. So if I was going to do the two, Facebook and, and Instagram, I would use Planoly for Instagram because you can chart it out. It's very, because you can't schedule an Instagram. And in Facebook, I would go in and do just the schedule like I showed you because it looks more personal. That makes sense? Ask you. Yeah. Go ahead. No, you can. Well, so I don't, I, I don't do things without having a larger plan. So yeah. what I was looking for, if I'm going to, you know, I've been looking at, so what are my events coming up over the yep. next three months? And then planning my themes, if you will. Your content. Like that. So I was looking for a tool so I could just use any kind of like handwritten calendar or a digital calendar. There isn't something that coordinates it all is yes, what I hear you. No, you can. No, no, you can. You can use Hootsuite or Buffer. Yep. Yep. You can plan them all. You can. It's just that uh, if you're using a, if you're using one of those things, it's going to look as if yeah, it was a, I got that. It was a schedule yep. thing rather right. than a personal post. Right. right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So we can. I can show you a couple of those tomorrow too, Trudy. What you prefer. Yeah. Because if you're going to go through a whole bunch of events and you want to do, you want to do some images and some video and some different things, then yeah, you. For that case. In a bigger picture, yes, Hootsuite or Buffer, one of those might be much more to your pace than what 
Carrie's going to do as her smaller business, and she can do the posting on Facebook and individually. So there's two different looks of how it looks and two different sizes of, of um, posting. Make sense, right, Maura? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Have you heard of um, if this then that? Yes. Um, uh, I haven't heard much about it for a while. Uh, so it was really popular a few years ago. I haven't heard much about it. I'll, I'll I can look at it again uh, and, and give you an update. I haven't used it much for, for a couple of years. Yeah. Okay. We can look at that. I can put it in the notes after. Okay. okay. Awesome. All right. Um, Anything else on, I mean, there's, there's a ton more on Facebook we could go through, but you guys, um, anything that is like before we move forward, are you good for now? I mean, there's lots, <laughs> there's so much. Oh, sorry, we're waiting. Okay, so we'll, we'll go into, I'll show you the, now has anybody done anything with the chat bots or looked at them? No, okay. Okay, so I would at least go in and set up in your messenger. Um, in, when you message, just if you go and test all your pages, when somebody, if you, if you just go in and message yourself, it'll come up with your logo and it'll say, um, it'll have a generic response. You wanna turn it into a more uh, personal response. Okay, so when you go into your settings, into go into your settings, into, uh, Facebook and you want to do go into your Facebook settings into messenger is where you want to put your more personal uh, message so I if I, I, you know what maybe I will would it be better to do to do a smaller video for you guys for this on later when you're ready for it it doesn't seem like it, this might be putting the cart before the horse for a few of you tell me a video would be awesome. Okay, let me do. I'll I would love a training video. Okay, let me skip this part, and because I've got it all in here, I'll I'll show you guys how to do it, and I'll do a video because I think we're kind of more stuck on some of the basics. We need to deal more with the basics on Facebook than going into Messenger at this point. Do you agree, guys? Okay. Okay. So, uh, have you linked your Instagram? Who's linked their Instagram with their Facebook? Who? Has everybody done that? Do you want to, have you done that? And do you, yep, Carrie's done it. Um, have you done it? I don't use Instagram. Pardon me, Mel? I don't use Instagram. Okay. Are you, do you, do you want to use Instagram? I don't think so. Okay. Not right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and uh, do you have the two, you have the two link, Maura, don't you? Yeah. Okay. So, and Lana will link yours after too. Okay, so uh, we went through that. So, um, and there's two different so ways. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Can I ask a question? When you, when you link to Instagram, is Instagram going to Facebook and vice versa? Or yeah. Is it one way or two way? It's only one way. So okay. you go to Facebook, uh, you go to Instagram, and when you post an Instagram, you can link your business. This is a great way to do both at the same time. Carrie, do you do this? link your two sometimes yeah so you can so you've got a nice post in Instagram and you've linked your business page to it and right underneath you can it can say would you like to post to Facebook also so then you're doing two birds with one stone and you don't have to do all the time which is great but it would be it is it, it is a step saver for sure and and shares out to those business pages so you could easily do that um, to, to set that for your Instagram Facebook with the with the uh, esthetician Lana yeah. Carrie? yeah, Carrie, how do you do it? Do you link the two sometimes? Um, yeah, but I guess when, um, when I see the post after and it says, you know, on the, when I look at it on Facebook and it says, you know, from Instagram and then it kind of just gives like a snapshot of the post. Yep. I don't find that that looks as effective as if I would posted it in Facebook. Yeah. So I, I tend not to do that i think it i like the way it looks when they're done Separate. from within each of the platform okay 
And see, there's some feedback. And a lot of people, you see a lot of people do it and they, they don't they don't care. They just do it all the time. So there's some feedback whether you do it. And I kind, kind of more, we were talking about the mixing the two Instagram and Facebook too. Do you do that Instagram and then share it to Facebook? If you like that look, great, but I agree. So that's where you've got your scheduling and your planning, like what, what Trudy was asking. Do we keep it all separate and can we use a big planner to do it, right? So, um, but it, it, but if but if you like the, the look of it, it's really easy to do too and with esthetician I would totally do it like different different um, different businesses no like you carry your like no but uh, like retail and services like that kind of stuff looks great it's the picture right in there okay so in Instagram there's a lot of hashtagging going on is that relevant to Facebook yeah you can use both in there I would uh, really test your hashtags to you guys so a good way you can just hashtag and look up hashtags and see what what where, where they're trending I can add a hashtag trender for you guys to look at um, I would you know the amount of hashtags too I, I was talking to somebody who was 18 she was like 20 years old she's like we, we hardly use hashtags anymore so be really careful about your audience with hashtags and five I don't think no more than ten it's too much it fills up everything but a good thing to do with hashtags is to try five maybe two different sets we talked about the, this last time I think at the session to try test like five maybe five two different formats of five and run one run those hashtags put them in your notes on your phone run those five hashtags for a couple of weeks see what kind of response you're getting and then watch them for maybe two weeks or a month. And if you're getting good response, then maybe try another five and see what response you have. But you can use hashtags in both Facebook, Instagram, because um, you look them up and they come up in everything that you do, right? Okay. Um, and again, like like um, for more, more you probably hashtag your name, right? And you, because sh she's a musician. So yeah, so that's a, a good thing to do also so What's i that? never hashtag my name oh have you hilarious. yeah no. i know i should i guess you really should especially as a musician because we just talked about you coming up like uh, in search and if you use your name it's not like it's not it's like it's like not say like you were the eagles like you would be hashtag eagles right i'm just using a bad theme in my head but it's your name that's who you're the performing. So I would definitely start hashtagging your name and everything. And your name and then your name with music. So if you want everything to come up in your music, then it should be your name with the music at the end, right? I would use Not both. Yeah. yeah. Because then if anybody's like, oh, that lady, and she just, just hashtag, at least they could find your Facebook page, your Instagram, your YouTube, all of those would be linked to that hashtag, right? Okay. But uh, yeah, but going crazy on hashtags, like I would do Calgary YYC music or where you're performing more, like are you performing somewhere coming up? Use that hashtag. Or the festival, use the hashtag. So say you were at the Lilac Festival. I would have your name, mute your name with music, the Lilac Festival, maybe uh, Lilacs, like five or six that are related to that. In the post, okay? Same with you, Carrie, whatever you've got for your hashtag for your Facebook Live today, you could do a few hashtags in there about your topic. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I hashtag when I'm on Instagram, but I never, I almost never hashtag when I'm on Facebook. You is, know it, what? is it just as effective in both or? Uh, I do, I, you know what? I have clients that are like, oh, I want you to hashtag. I do, a few, I do smaller amounts, maybe two or like the name for sure. Uh, and not on all the posts in Facebooks, but in, in Instagram, always hashtag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it, again, it's what you what you what, where your audience is and what you're comfortable doing. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna see. Um, so just the different. So just kind of going into a bit of a uh, post and how they attract. So different things or you could problem solve who you're trying to reach, um, who you're talking about, what you want to talk about, what service you provide, um, how you're trying to help. So um, <clears throat> how are you different from other people? How are you unique, people caring, what problem you're solving? So um, not so much with this to do in, in, again, war is music, <laughs> but again, for Lana, for estheticians, for Carrie, for Melody too, about the grief and all that kind of stuff. So again, um, your posts, you want to attract problems and solutions. So again, if you're thinking about, okay, what, 
you know, like your one, your your example today, Carrie. You really want to talk about complimenting, accepting it. What you know, what problem and solution have you have you thought about before you did your Facebook Live? I'm gonna put Carrie on the spot because she's doing one later this afternoon. Um, that's okay. Um, so a lot of the work that I focus on is on people's relationship to themselves. So um, the 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 topic of compliments and receiving praise is um, it speaks a lot to where the person's at in terms of what they think they deserve in terms of compliments and so on. And so changing that can have a huge impact um, on how they relate to the world. And so that's, um, it's kind of like a light topic, but that highlights a really powerful sort of deeper, deeper concept, which I work with people people a lot on so yeah. so again you want to go back to them how can you help them right when you're talking about yeah. you how i can help you what problems i can solve for you that kind of so when you're talking right remember right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so um again lana i mean esthetician again i mean but there's still problems there's still solving solutions with different things right mm -hmm. yeah okay so um, and then the difference again on Instagram, there's personal and business. And, and so if you're going to set up, have the pages and we were talking a little bit with more earlier about, um, she has a personal Instagram page. Will she go to a business page too? Uh, for a musician, it's her name again. So everybody's going to find her in there. Uh, and like Rich, I was asking what she posts and she said she posts a lot about her personal stuff too, but that's who she is. If you need to say, make them very separate, then you can do them very separate. I mean, so you have to you have to look at if you have two pages or not because two pages is more work, right? Yeah. So be, and there's more basic features in personal, just like in Facebook. And there's more you can do in business on Instagram. You can do um, contact button, email button. You can do uh, you can do uh, posting. You can do ads. You can do different things in there. But again, if you're if you can barely do one, <laughs> stick to one platform. Like we said, build up your Facebook to start, and then later on add your Instagram. Or if your market is Instagram, start with Instagram and really build it up and and uh, and get comfortable there and make it work for you too. But Instagram, there's a lot more you can do in Instagram than you could even two years ago. The the lives, the contact buttons. Um, you can add, you know, you can contact directly to your website, all that kind of great stuff too. Okay. Um, again, same, again, the one thing with Instagram, it's a lot more, it's a lot more posting than in, even in Facebook because it, it, it drives down so quickly. So again, it depends if, if you really think that your market isn't in, in Instagram, you need to be there at least once a day at least because and, and that's really growing your Instagram with intention okay um, so again look at where you want to engage and who you're part of I, I'll just go very quickly through Instagram because we're not very not very much many of us are on there um, and then and put a call to action again Carrie you could put your call to action to come to your Facebook live on your Instagram for sure with the link to your Facebook page yeah yeah so they could do that too so you could easily do that okay um, and then you could get into feature pages. So, um, uh, so I have a friend who has uh, a, a, um, a, a boutique, a, a ladies boutique, and they're going to start doing a feature pages because they do a lot of blouses. So they're going to do a blouse feature page. So it's, it's, it's like, it's like another piece of your, another page of your website that has your services. So you can work on feature pages too. So um, it, it, you can get really in depth into, into the background of, of Facebook so I, or Instagram. So I can give you some next steps on how to do, I'll add this also to the feature page if anybody wants to look how to develop a feature page. Um, so kind of some of the apps we went through last time too, so we remember. So, and I'll just go through them again because we had a little confusion about Bitly and stuff. So Typerama is on your, uh, on your, um, a mobile device and you can take a picture you know how you see pictures people have pictures and they have those great fonts on top of them or whatever so you can take a picture load it to typerama and then you could say um you know june 25th uh and have a picture of of your facebook live and you could type that on there 
join me and you can have that. So you can type, that's Typerama. Photify and Red Stamp are, have a little bit more, they're a little bit more, um, you can design a little bit more in them. In Photify, you can do collages, so you could put four or five pictures and put it right in there. Another one that's really handy is iPass or LastPass for all your passwords. Uh, so you can lock those on your on your uh, phone, and then you have a place where all your passwords are. And then Planoly is the one, and their scheduler that you can schedule uh, some of your social platforms, like what uh, Trudy was asking. And then there's Hootsuite and Buffer, but those are those are much bigger, kind of what like Trudy's looking for because she's got uh, speaking and her book, and she's got a little bit more than a few of a few of you have that she could go to a bigger uh, platform like Hootsuite or Buffer. But for single and smaller, I like Planoly and Scheduler. So LinkedIn, who's on LinkedIn? Who, anybody? Okay, great, they're waving. Okay, so I thought we'd do a little bit about LinkedIn. Is that okay? If you, okay, great, everybody's way. Okay, so again, don't ignore it. it. Like I said to you in the last session, they've done, if you haven't looked at LinkedIn, they've done some real, they've added some a lot of new stuff to it. Somebody have a question? No. Um, so they have a messaging platform just like in Facebook now. Um, so I was doing some LinkedIn uh, connections for a client this morning and I sent a connection to a guy and right away it came up in the, in the messenger and said, Hey, can I ask you a couple questions? And he asked a couple questions about her, uh, her program she was offering right away. So, um, it, it, and it, again, it's very, uh, employee driven, corporate driven, um, that part of it. Um, but a lot, a lot, like out of all you guys, you guys are all on LinkedIn too. So let's not ignore it and look at, and look at it. So big thing is building up your homepage and uh, these, you guys, this is, I, I'll, uh, I'll put the slides on there and the recording so you can, you don't have to write this down quickly, but how you go in, you can now share videos a lot more with articles and posts. So LinkedIn used to be very much article driven. And if you didn't have a lot in there, you couldn't just post, but now you could post just a motivation and just post a motivational picture, very similar to Facebook now. So you can do posts, articles, and you can do video. And if you have some great video, it, it is really good to put in LinkedIn if you've got a good following on LinkedIn. Okay, so you really wanna build that LinkedIn profile. You wanna have an updated profile photo, um, really important, very corporate, uh, very that resume looking for, for LinkedIn. It's not you and your dog. Whereas you and your dog is okay on Facebook or Instagram, but it really isn't, right? People on LinkedIn are very, it's very, it's a very different platform, right, you guys? So make sure that that, that image is done. And if you have the behind, a lot of people, <clears throat> pardon me, when they go to their LinkedIn profile, there's a big blue screen behind it. So there's your profile and then there's the, the, the cover photo. Put your logo in the cover photo, you guys, and it's really easy to do. There's a little uh, gray pencil and you just click on it and you load your profile image or your company, say your company logo, you put it on the back there. Okay, that's a, quite a few people are missing that one. They have a, a really great headshot, but then there's that big blue image at the back, right? Um, you're, it's still a big part of what you do on LinkedIn is your headline, okay? So you really, really want people to come to you for what you do. It is your sales target headline. Um, so um, like for more, like more you have a LinkedIn, oh, you have it probably for work, right? More or not for, um, I was just thinking music, yeah. So um, really tag, what do you, what's your tag? Do you have your um, headline in, in LinkedIn, Maura? Because you're in insurance, aren't you? Other daytime? Yeah, I have an insurance. Uh, that's a good question. So what kind of insurance <laughs> do you look at it? We are, we are a little limited because I do work with the financial institution. So we have to be careful about what we're posting and whether it fits their compliance. Oh, uh, okay. No. Um, so if you were, so if I was to look you up, do you, do you sell, um, uh, and I, I don't even like auto insurance. No, you do more. No, I do life critical illness disability. Okay. I think it says I help families protect families and business protect their something. I think yeah. So something. exactly. So, but be careful that protect because in, in sometimes in people's mind insurance, protect my house, my car, whatever. Right. So you want to make sure that that headline, when people are searching you protect critical, you know, just make sure it's 
more directed to their personal, not their house and their home and everything. You know what I mean? So really that is, that headline is really important in search and LinkedIn. So that when people do search you, uh, you have a look at it when you look at it next time too. But it's, they're saying, and that summary sales page is really, really important. So make sure you go ahead. Where's the headline? It's, it's right, right, underneath, right underneath your name? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you got yours? yours? Pardon me, Claudette? If you got yours on your phone right now? Yeah, so uh, it's, it says President at Simply More Inc. Okay. So you could change that too. I would definitely, like, what is Simply More Inc.? Like, I'm like, great, she's the president of that, but what could you tell me that's like, oh, that's really, like, a couple of more keywords in there. I would really like that for your headline. So okay. communication specialist for difficult conversations? That's better. Yep. Right, you guys? Don't you think that's better? Like, okay, that explains a little bit more what she does, right? Yeah. So you want, yeah, you don't, like this guy, okay, this Jeff, I just clicked on somebody. I don't know who this guy is, but he's like, I help, he's got his name and he's an MBA. And he's like, I help companies improve their ROI of their investment in marketing more sales at a reasonable cost. So that. It's like, oh, okay, that tells me what that guy does, right? So definitely I would redo that, Trudy, to like the second one you said was way better than just having your, the, the president of your company, right? It's like, okay, great. It has that in your credentials, but then what's that headline? What are you going to Yeah, have? got it. Got it? Cool? Yeah, great. Thank you. Yeah, that, that is a, uh, yeah, it's a really important piece. Uh, your current position, obviously, you guys, if you, like you're, you know, Trudy, you own the company, that should be the top thing. You're the current owner or CEO of your company then have where you've worked in the past but you'd be surprised how many people don't have their current position um, education so again again you know you, you need to you need to have where you went to school high school university everything because believe it or not again I had a lady she was working on something and the girl when they were chatting away she's like I think we went to high school together and sure enough she had seen that she had gone to this high school and they connected based on that because that's, she was like, that's you, I remember. Because of course, with women in particular, sometimes we change our last names, right? So keep that there, right? Okay. Uh, location, add, definitely add the country, the zip code and locations within your area. If you, especially if you want to do local business, watch your industry and make sure that's checked to as bet. I mean, LinkedIn can be a pretty, a little picky because sometimes it's, um, it might be like say farming and then agriculture and then this, try to get it as best fine tuned as you can. Because you know, general people are going to be general in in their in their steps. So your summary page, they're really really saying that's your sales page. So when I go to Trudy's page and when she said that, it's like, are you answering that question that I need to go to Trudy for? Okay. So saying again, oh, I've done this and that. No, no. Again, what can you do for me, Trudy? What is it that, again, it's all about, when I read it, it's like, um, my brother's starting uh, doing some, working for an insurance agent, and he was a roofer. So he is going after roofing companies. Now, if I just read, blah, 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 he's like, I was a roofer. I know, not, I'm just going to say, my more, my, of course, nicely written, but I was a roofer. I know how hard it is to get, he's trying to get um, insurance and coverage for roofers. Really very difficult. You have to have a lot of liability. So he says, I, I can now help you. I understand. I had all those issues. You should come to me. I've been there, done it. Does that make sense, you guys? That page could be a really good sales page of why I should come to you. Not about everything you've done you got to write it a little bit differently than, than how we're thinking. And they're really saying that because it's, it is that summary page can those two or three paragraphs can nail you a client or not. Right. That makes sense. Everybody. I'm just trying to see if there's a summary page I can read. The ROI guys got connect with me. Not sure what, how to get your ROI. He's got like a whole little, it's not even like his summary about him. It's what he can do for you. Because a lot of people write that summary page almost like a resume, right? Yeah. Have you guys looked at yours? You're probably going, ah. Oh. Like more for you, in particular insurance, there, you guys are everywhere on LinkedIn, really. I mean, insurance is a, it, lawyers, insurance, bankers, all those, that's where they're, they tend to go to their bread and butter on LinkedIn, right? So you, your page might be more about who you are and what you've done, but I would try and rewrite it so 
what you could do for those that line you had about family was really good then elaborate in it on your summary okay yeah it because i can go down and look what you did and who you've worked for sorry but that's what i want to look at okay Makes sense so i associate linkedin with as you say lawyers bankers insurance i i didn't really see it as for an aesthetics business uh, i don't know if i i mean uh, you know what? I'd like to see her build her face. Go ahead, what? Yeah, but all those people have money, and they'll spend money on aesthetics. There you go. There's mm. a Yep. See? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, you know, we don't, have, we don't have time, right? Oh, there you go. So, there, okay, here's a perfect one. Tree just came up with it. Um, you know, I'm the esthetician to the people that don't have time. Come to me for this. this. Like, I'd be like, oh, see, Trudy, you guys, Maura would be like. That was Maura. Oh, sorry, Maura. Sorry, Maura would be like, I like this woman. She's talking to, sorry, guys. She, Maura's like, I, I'm like her because she's talking to what I need, right? Yeah. Oh, so. Good, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so another little key thing that's kind of really cool that a lot of people don't do right in LinkedIn is how to send a message. Because there's you get so many in-mail messages. More, do you do in-mail messages in LinkedIn? I'm going to say she's probably the queen of LinkedIn out of all of us. Uh, so I get uh, people trying to recruit me a lot, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you going, talking to maybe clients that you want, that you're, you're, you're going after new leads. Oh, I suck at that. Okay, so this is a great way to do it instead. <laughs> So a lot of people, when they, when they find somebody on it, they'll find the person, they'll hit connect. And it just sends, I'm kind of, it says LinkedIn would like to connect with you. And you get all those and you're like, delete, delete, delete. okay, there's a way better way to do it. So you find the person that you want to connect to. I know this Dan guy and you go and you click on Dan and we're going to write a, 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 I'm going to do it this one. Sorry. You're going to, here's, I don't know how to say this girl's name. So you find her and you see connect, you click the connect button. Okay. And then it takes you into this. Okay. And in here, you are then going to add, you're going to hit add a note and you're going to write a personal note that has to be 160 characters. So you need to really get this, hone it down to what you want it to say. And then you send the invitation and then you get, it doesn't say Claudette wants a link to you. It says, Hi, Carrie. I'm the social media person to the stars. You need, you know, whatever, whatever it is, right? Um, I'd really like to buy you a cup of coffee. And this is what we do to be connected. Rather than, so you can, and these, you guys, you can do as many as you want for free. Because in LinkedIn, when you do your in-mail messages, you're only allowed five or six on the regular plan and 15 on the $50 a month plan and 25. So this is really, really cool. I will post this. Maura, you need to try this. It's really cool. This is a really good way to do it. Do you like that? Yeah. Yeah. So simple. And I just cut and paste like I did one for this lady this morning. I did 20 of them. I just found her 20 construction companies, found the president or the account, the accountant actually, so who she wants to, found it, just said, hello, Lana, uh, this is blah, blah, blah. Thank you very much. I did cut and paste my 160 character question. I personalized it a bit for a few of them that she knew, but that's it. And then when they connect, you thank them for connecting and then you can send them a bigger message. But this is a really cool uh, piece that a lot of people do not know about in LinkedIn. Okay. So I'll post this on there. It, it makes a big difference. And, and a few things what you want to do in LinkedIn, um, uh, you, I posted, I'll post these in here, you know, what you want your, your, uh, it to stand out. If you wanted to use sales navigator, it's their higher end. Um, and then some, il, in, some guide about writing your in mails and, and keeping them, how you can keep them within that 160 characters. Okay. Yeah. LinkedIn. And again, video. If you have any video, you guys, uh, more that your company may be a specific, um, video that they maybe put out on critical injury or I don't know, whatever. And there's a good video, start posting them in there because um, video is making a big hit in LinkedIn because they never used to be able to put video in. Okay, so I just put a little bit of information on how to, and Carrie, again, you could, you can download your Facebook Live if you like it, put it in the MP3 file, and then you could then save it and link it and, and, and post it to your LinkedIn profile. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So just, yeah, that's, that's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. 
Okay, questions, LinkedIn questions. Um, what, what else do you want to talk about that I maybe didn't go through on Facebook or um, I could go back to a few things. I just, I wasn't sure how we can go back to a bit more Facebook. If you guys about like posting and boosting posts, go ahead. Somebody has a question. Um, how do you decide what kind of content you're going to share to each platform and should it be a little, should it be different? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Facebook, <clears throat> uh, uh, a little more lighthearted. So we're talking music or insurance. Let's talk about music. Okay. So music in Facebook, for sure. I would, um, you know, Facebook lives, if you're doing, uh, when, before you're going to a, an event, I would do, you know, set up and how you test mic, that kind of like kind of fun, interesting, that kind of more stuff, the motivational um, music Monday, like what is your favorite music? What, what do you sing more? Like, what is your, like, uh, you know, is it, is it um, um, oh my God, jazz and blues, or is it hip, like, oh my God, whatever, you know, what your favorite, again, you can ask a poll, music Monday, what is everybody's favorite? What should I, I, I really want to sing something on Monday night at the next thing, what would everybody like to hear? And you could put five or six songs in a poll, kind of cool. So more lighthearted, that kind of stuff in Facebook. Um, and now you're going Instagram pictures, but then you can do live now too, right? But really good images in Instagram where you can get away with not as great in Facebook because you've got a few different things. In Facebook too, you can go more article driven, or sharing it. the one thing in Facebook. So if you heard somebody that saying New York, New York, that you were like, Oh my God, I'm just using an example. That's my best version of it. Share that on Facebook. Right. Whereas in Instagram, I wouldn't, I would do more of the album cover of that. So that's really dating myself. <laughs> the album cover more on the Instagram. Okay? We still call them albums. Okay, good. Okay. So visual, visual, visual and Instagram um, with possible links if you wanted to, back to your Facebook or your LinkedIn page, okay? Um, short, more short and sweet and very visual. Think of it as a magazine in Instagram. That's the, really think of it as your visual online magazine, okay? Um, you can get a little bit longer and more in depth on Facebook, okay? Um, and then LinkedIn, very, really, I mean, no. do you have a LinkedIn page for your, for your music? No. So LinkedIn again for you, but you, I mean, um, so for LinkedIn, I do, for the, the, I do business articles, uh, repost some articles, uh, videos on critical, like we do critical, you know, on anything insurance based, any of that, because they're that very resume, very corporate driven. And what about Twitter? A lot uh, of musicians use Twitter. Yeah, I know. Um, so news about music, you like, like again, and you can, again, the one thing about Twitter, you can link back to a few more articles and share out and retweet, right? Some, a nice image with then the link for the bit.ly back to an article or again to a YouTube. So Twitter and YouTube really well together too, right? Heard this great set, um, you know, your few, your few, your 140 characters, what you think of New York, New York based on, I'm just using that. And then you could use the bit.ly, the link back to the YouTube so they could watch it. Right. I think more so and more news driven and what's going on in the music industry, where you're playing, when you're playing, that kind of stuff. Right. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense to everybody. Yeah. Uh, how to's. So YouTube, how to's, how to's, how to's, how to's. So how to record a song, how to, um, how to, how to, hair like how to prepare my toes when I go get it before an esthetician how to prepare my legs before I go for waxing like different things like I'm now going to esthetician right so how to's is big time on YouTube um, so the biggest so those first largest search engine is is um, Google but the second is YouTube and it's all about how to's yeah, it's the second largest. So the, the I didn't know if I told you guys this thing last time but the most searched thing on on YouTube Year after year after year, how to tie a tie. Most search thing after the last five years going, right? And I, I do work for an appliance company that has high-end appliances, and we always post in, in October how to roast a turkey. 
I cannot believe how many people don't know how to cook a turkey. And we get more <laughs> hits off of that. And we don't, we, like we have done one a couple of times in house, but most of the time I pick Gordon Ramsay. I'll pick like four. If you like Gordon Ramsay, here's, here's. If you want a whole uh, natural, organic, here's another one. If you want Martha Stewart, the traditional way we post hers, and then we do a Canadian living one. And we get more hits on a, how to roast a turkey. Because people will be like, oh great, and P.S., you need to have it pretty unthawed before Saturday if you're serving it on Sunday. That's the other thing. So you so YouTube how tos, okay? Um, and then linking your YouTube back to Facebook and, and Instagram and all those too. But how to is and search is huge in YouTube too, you guys. <clears throat> so that's the other other thing to do in YouTube. Uh, if you do any type of teaching, any how to's, any of that stuff, right? Yeah. So YouTube, Twitter, link. Did we go through all of them? Yeah. Okay, and then the last, you know what, um, uh, we won't, I won't go, because Google my business for most of you, Lana, I would probably, no, she's working out of her house now, isn't she? Yeah. Do people come to her house, though? Yes. Yeah, I still would do a Google my business for her location. Um, we'll have to maybe look at that. Um, because, again, search and maps, so why you would do, why would um, you would do, even if you don't have um, bricks and mortar, but in search with Google, if you have a good Google My Business page, it'll bring you up in search. And again, you can do small articles, postings, how-tos, videos, and everything on Google. Oh my God, Google My Business now too. So it is a good place to do, um, you can claim your listing, and then you can use that as a whole nother area to do uh, search. If you really want to start to perform in, in Google without having to spend a lot of money on ads and everything, and you have a bricks and mortar of any sort to start, it is great like for esthetician even though she's doing it her house I would suggest we do a Google my business page Lana. oh great thanks yeah yeah um, Trudy do you is your off your downtown office is your office uh, what do you mean my office like at your location downtown in Palliser yeah yeah so I definitely I would have a Google my business for you too I'll we'll have to talk we'll talk about that so, so Facebook has this thing where it asks you to boost your post, and I okay. think last week you told me it wasn't worth it. No, I would rather see um, it, 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 boosting a post is uh, if you, I, I would plan what you're doing when you're boosting your post, even if they're five or ten bucks. Um, they're still if you're not getting any engagement in it, it's five or ten bucks. That's not worth it. So if you know you're having either an event, like say, say more is going to, we talked about a little bit, it's like she's got something coming up in the fall that she's going to be at. So she, we did some ads, flyers, invitation, whatever you want to call them. And we started to post those in like July and August coming soon and then posting the dates. And then earlier when they say there were tickets going to be on sale, I would maybe put the ticket sales and put right before, maybe a week before, Hey, ticket sales are, the price is going to go up next week. That's, let's use that example I would definitely maybe boost that the Thursday Friday Saturday before the tickets go up because that's a, a piece that people want to find um, if you know um, like Carrie maybe if you know after doing a few Facebook lives I would maybe know that this is a really good topic and this is a great time to do a Facebook live be like yesterday for today I might boost that little image you put together for five bucks specific to where you're gonna go and watch because even if they're not getting anything, um, then you, you need to know if they're gonna, even for five bucks, you need to know it's still five bucks, right? So if you know that people are definitely engaging that topic and they wanna come to the event, but then you wanna boost those before. But I'd rather see you post your Facebook Live and then afterwards, so say, say with Lana's case, they gave a deal on, on uh, pedicures, okay? So we post a really nice picture about pedicures, we're gonna have a sale, we might boost that a couple of times. Then maybe she, we did something about why you, the best colors for spring and we paint, we showed the colors. I'd like to see that then you could later boost that video for five or 10 bucks to get that re-engagement on that flyer again. So you kind of, you kind of do it strategically, not just throw five bucks on, oh, because we think this, this page, this, boost, this, this um, image was good. You, so you, what does it mean when they're boosting it? What are they doing? Oh, so it's a, like, it's, it's, you're paying for that to go out onto the sometimes, uh, sometimes to the audience that you've had, or Facebook will send it out to audience they think is good for you. Blankly, 
who knows. So they identify that you're Calgary or yep. sometimes. Yep. Hopefully with what you've posted and who you are. So you're better off to do an ad campaign for 20 bucks. You know, you could do a small ad that says pedicures this much off sale, going to run it and do a, a a strategic place nicely done ad and then you can go in and spend $25 on that and get some schematics behind that then boosting boosting is unless you're doing a lot of it and you're doing it the right way it is really a waste of money it's not yeah yeah you're better off like after Carrie does her live she's getting lots of stuff we might want she might want to boost it after but that's what they're doing but you yeah people just say oh just boost it because it's five ten bucks, but even after you do five ten bucks, <clears throat> you can get your. You want to watch your insights, and you might see I never got any return on that that uh, fifty dollars. I did five times, right? Whereas I, if I did a fifty dollar ad, I can see my return, and I got ten clients out of it. Then that's a good return. Okay. Yeah, and you can set your ads, you guys. I don't know if you know. So, Lana, specifically, if you wanted to do an ad and you wanted to target Calvin Grove, Chinook Park, whatever, you, we can set your ads, you guys, to postal codes. So, specific to where Lana is, because she, you know, she's in the area. If you wanted to go after everybody in, in uh, Woodbine and, and uh, Palliser or whatever in the Southwest, you can set your ads specifically to the Southwest. Because how far will people come for pedicure management? Exactly. Yeah. So you really want to, You can set that target audience, and you can watch it, and you can just say, you know what, we get ninety-five percent of our traffic from T2V, T2J, T2X. Let's always just run our ads in there. Hmm. Uh -huh. And you can watch the insights and see everything that's coming. Yeah, same. I mean, same with uh, more if you were going to do when you're going out, because uh, I think you said your event is not in town. Ontario. Where is it? Ontario. Yeah, so definitely if we're going to do something, how many people are going to buy tickets from here? Like you would, I would just put that on your person, you know, the, hey, if, if you happen to be in Ontario, I'm going to be singing. But if you wanted to sell some tickets and do an ad, I would make sure we had the Ontario market there. Yeah. Because why would you sell tickets here when it's in Ontario, right? That's right. Yeah. So, you know, so see people like, oh, I put an ad up and your concert's in Ontario. Did you look at your audience and target it? It's like, no. I'm like, okay. So you can do targeted, very targeted specific. Makes sense, right? It's like dropping flyers here. It's the same thing if we did hard co copy flyers in Calgary and you're singing in Toronto. When you order hard copy flyers to drop in Toronto, not Calgary, when you kind of go back to how old school we used to do it it makes the same sense right make yeah so yeah questions i know there was a few about yeah so i will post uh so i'll put some other uh, other pieces on there i'll post that whole um piece on um start doing your linkedin page and how to um, do that contact that little cheat as i call it um, and a few other things about, I'll do the, the piece to bit.ly. So you kind of, so it gives you, I'll give you the bit.ly link, um, to, so you know what that is. And then I'll do some buffer and Hootsuite. I'll give you some comparisons on some of the schedulers for you guys. Okay. And the LinkedIn stuff. And then I'll, I'll also post some of that, uh, do the video, uh, also on Instagram. I'll repost that stuff for business. And then we can, if you're, you know, if you do your Facebook now in the next few weeks and then later on you want to, <clears throat> you come back and you might ask some questions on Instagram, just ask that or send me a message and, or, and, or we can do it in your private session. Good. What time, or what time are we? Oh, 12, 233. Perfect. Good. Thanks, Claudette. Okay, I'm going to see you tomorrow, Trudy. Maura, if you would, yeah, and you guys just send me and we'll, uh, we'll uh, Carrie, you can, I can set up uh, all your one on ones with you like, in the next couple of weeks if you want. Right, you Maura? Yep. She's saying goodbye, I think. I was giving you a thumbs up. Oh, great. Okay. And I apologize for the time mix up and I'll make it up to you guys. So, um, yeah, and I'll, Trudy, I'll see you tomorrow. And Lana, I can come see you whenever you're in the hood. And Carrie, we'll see Carrie live at three o'clock, you guys. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. I'm going to yeah. put the link. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>